Kelvin Helmholtz waves occur in stable environments and resemble breaking waves on an ocean surface. They usually occur as repetitive wave-like features and are driven by vertical wind shear across that stable layer. And as a parcel of air will oscillate up and down along an interface that's also moist, so you get condensation so you can see those repetitive wave-like features. That parcel encounters the vertical wind shear and that causes breaking waves and little repetitive curly cues along that stable layer. They're often observed very rarely at the base of mesocyclones as well, those mothership supercells. That's because you get vertical wind shear along the edge of the updraft, and then you can also get stable layers near evening. That's when you get the sculpted look to that mothership updraft, and that's where you can often see KH waves along the base of those stable layers all the way up along the updraft, and that's because of that vertical wind shear. But usually, Kelvin Helmholtz waves occur in stable environments on the backside of uh, complexes of storms where you have rain-cooled air and you have lots of different interfaces where those waves can form along, but they absolutely create a spectacular scene in the sky and are very, definitely enjoyed by photographers and weather enthusiasts and just anyone that enjoys looking up at the sky. And the best thing is that Kelvin Helmholtz waves are also harmless. They usually occur in stable environments unless of course they're ripping along the base of an approaching mesocyclone.